we are having this problem serial number is displayed as static but in our project we have one and we have two we have proper serial numbers inside the database if i just show my demo project shopping cart products you can see here i am having 65 and 66 the id number is 65 and 66 but still the serial number displayed as 1 2 so we are going to see how to display that now inside the serial number directly i can display the id i will copy this and here i am just going to paste and i will be writing here id column name of a table i will come you can see this id i have just written I will save this file. Now, when I just refresh this one, 4, 5, 6, whatever ID is present for this products, that ID will be displayed as serial number. But I do not want this one. I want proper serial numbers in proper series, like 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now for that, we are just going to write the logic. So, where we have got all the data. I am just going to create one variable. I will give my variable name as num. Initial value I am just going to assign as 1. Basically we are using while loop. So first we have to initialize the variables. If you are not aware of while loop. In JavaScript series I have already uploaded about while loop. If you want you can refer that one. I will be giving the link in the description. So first I am just initializing that. Now directly in place of displaying this row id i will just display this variable i will remove this and i'm just going to paste this num variable i will save this now value of num is one so each and every time whenever this loop is looped i will be getting the data as one i will come i will refresh this one you can see each and every time i am having one so after this php code before our while loop is ending, I will just write here num plus plus. First time, my value of num will be 1 because I have given 1. Once the loop is run, the value of num will be increased. So, for second data, the value of num will be 2. Num plus plus is as equal to num plus 1. So, previously, the value of num is 1. 1 plus 1, I will get the result as 2. So now the num value will become 2 and 2 will be stored. Again it keeps on increasing by 1 and we will get the data. Now I will just come. Now if I refresh this. Okay untoken on line 54. We should always give a semicolon. I will save this. I will refresh. You can see I am having 1, 2 and 3. Now if I display the fourth product. I will be having the same result. Even if I delete the products from the middle, suppose if I delete this second product, then for this year ports, I will be having the serial number as 2. It is not going to break the logic. Each and every time, we will be getting the numbers in proper series. Next, we are going to learn how to delete the products. Now, whenever I delete the product, when I click on this, you can see first I should be getting this confirmation box. If I want to delete, only then I have to delete this. If I click on OK, only then I have to delete the product. If I click on Cancel, the product should not be deleted. I should be getting a warning kind of message. Next, we are going to work on deleting the products.